Welcome to the Three for Three Meet the Candidate series presented by the Miami Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. The Three for Three series is being brought to you by our Social Action Committee. This committee works under the auspice of our organization's political awareness and involvement programmatic thrust and is charged with providing programs and activities that foster, among other things, voter registration and voter education. It is imperative to mention that the members of the Miami Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority are not and will not endorse or promote any candidate. To that end, we invite you to watch the Three for Three Meet the Candidate series. This series will offer you an opportunity to preview several candidates running for office in Miami-Dade County. In an effort of providing a level and inclusive playing field, we invited all of the qualified candidates running for Miami-Dade County Board of County Commissioners, Miami-Dade Circuit and County Judges, and the Miami-Dade School Board during this 2020 primary election. Note that some of the candidates did not respond to our invitation. Candidates within the same group were asked the same three questions where they were given a maximum of three minutes to answer. We hope that you enjoy our program. Remember to register to vote and to vote by mail for your safety. Now, let's meet the candidate. Thank you, Regina. Today we have candidate Sean Spector, candidate for County Court Judge Group 24. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Now, our challenge is that we have three questions for you and you'll have three minutes to answer each question. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. First question. Who are you as a candidate and what are your priorities? So I guess I'll give a little bit of background about me. Um, yeah, my name is Sean Spector. I'm running for County Court Judge in Group 24, Miami-Dade County. Um, I'm originally from New York. I went did my undergrad at the University of Delaware, where I studied biological sciences, and then came down to Miami to attend law school at the University of Miami. I fell in love with the city and wound up making it my permanent home. Um, my first job out of school was at a labor and employment firm, where we handled wage and hour claims uh, and discrimination claims for plaintiffs against their employers. Uh, from there, I moved on to a little bit larger firm where I specialized in commercial litigation, represented companies in a variety of contractual disputes. I then had the opportunity to go in-house at a financing company. While I was there, I advised on matters of compliance. I managed the legal department and served as lead counsel on all local litigation in South Florida. And then in 2017, I took the plunge and opened my own firm uh, where I currently serve as outside general counsel for a few small businesses in Miami and Broward counties. And I also represent plaintiffs, uh, excuse me, plaintiffs and defendants at uh, various stages of commercial litigation. Um, as far as my priorities go, uh, I want to ensure that everybody who wants or needs to access the court is able to do so. And that means putting in the work necessary to thin out the docket so that litigants don't have to wait an inordinate amount of time to have their cases heard. Um, and also on a more personal note, I just wanna make sure that everybody who comes before me, if I were to be elected, leaves the courtroom with the feeling that they were actually heard and that they were afforded the courtesy and respect that they deserve. Next question. How will you work to achieve social equality and equity in the justice system? That's a good question, and um, I think a good starting point would be to offer greater flexibility for all litigants in terms of how they appear before the court. I know that, two, from personal experience, two of the biggest deterrents to accessing the court, especially in county court, where the dollar values are smaller and a lot of litigants can't afford an attorney, are time and money. Uh, people who don't come from means are often discouraged from accessing the courts because they don't have the money to hire an attorney and they can't really take time off of work to come down to the courthouse and appear for hearings. Uh, and I think during the COVID epidemic, we've learned that it is possible to conduct uh, most hearings remotely over Zoom or telephonically, and there's no reason that that can't continue. So rather, I mean, rather than somebody having to take the time off of work 
or losing, losing like a half a day or a day of pay to attend a hearing that should take no longer than five minutes, I think the court should be able to offer remote access to anybody who wishes to appear. Um, people shouldn't have to choose between protecting or enforcing their rights and earning money for their families. And I think that the greater use of technology could alleviate some of those issues and make access to the court easier for those who don't have large bank accounts. And I think that would go a long way in terms of equity and equality. Last question. Why should we vote for you? It's a million dollar question. Um, and my answer to that is I have the experience and the ability necessary to do the job well. As I said, I've been a litigator my entire career. I've practiced in several different areas of law. I've represented both plaintiffs and defendants. I've served as outside counsel and in-house counsel. And I think that experience has given me a really well-rounded view of the legal profession and of the legal process, which um, will prove to be, I think, invaluable if I'm elected to the bench. And also my work ethic and commitment to serve the people of Miami-Dade County. Um, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I've had to work for everything that I have. Um, from working full-time in college and law school throughout my career and now uh, managing my own firm, which is often a 24 seven job. Um, and in my free time, I like to I volunteer for the city of Miami. Uh, I was first on the community relations board and now I serve as vice chair of the nuisance abatement and code enforcement boards. And I would like to now rechannel and refocus my work ethic and my commitment to the residents of Miami-Dade County um, by serving as judge. Thank you for joining us today and good luck in your candidacy. Thank you so much.